Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this wonderful opportunity to spend a few moments in prayer and in God's Word. Jesus is the radiance of God's glory. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of His being, sustaining all things by His powerful Word. When you are driving east as the sun rises, it can be really difficult to see what is in front of you. Many of us who are driving wear sunglasses to help reflect or deflect the brilliant sunlight. Sometimes sunglasses don't even help much. What comes to mind when you and I think about the sun? When we look straight into the sun, its brilliance can be blinding. But beautiful, clear light radiating from the sun also helps us to see things around us. Sunlight also radiates heat, warming the earth each day. It gives light for plants and for growing food. We cannot separate the radiating light and heat from the sun. These properties always go together with sunlight. Similarly, we cannot separate Jesus, the Son of God, from God Himself. Hebrews says the sun is the radiance of God's glory. Think about what this means. It means in Jesus, the glory of God came to dwell among us, taking on flesh and becoming one of us. The glory of God in Christ was humbled on the cross when He died to pay the price for our sin. Then the glory of God shone in its brilliance when Jesus rose again from the dead. The enemy wants to stop the glorious message of the gospel from saving people's lives and setting them free. He wants to keep people blinded in sin and darkness. Whenever the Spirit of God illuminates a person in the light of the gospel, he begins a deep redemptive work. At the moment of salvation, he transfers people from the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Included in this redemptive work is the process of changing a new believer from glory to glory. In a very small but significant way, the body of Christ is to radiate the glory of God to this world. Transformed believers appear as lights in the world. Do not, do not minimize the role of Jesus Christ as light in this otherwise dark world. The radiance of God's glory came for all of us to see. As the Gospel of John explains, Jesus came to give light to everyone in this world. Jesus came to draw us to Himself, the light of the world, so that we could come out of darkness and live in His marvelous light. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for Your Word. We thank You for what we have studied today, O God. You are the exact representation of God the Father. Lord, we pray that you and I, each one of us here, God, will begin to walk as light, God, that you have brought us from darkness into your marvelous light. We pray, God, that you will enable and equip us to walk as light in this world. We give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.